All right, so Kit's new skin just dropped. I picked this skin up, so we're gonna take a look at every aspect of the skin and see if it's actually worth picking up for 149 gems or 5,000 bling. Let's get into it. All right, so for the theme of this skin, Kit is themed like a thief. There's also like an underlying theme of like locks and keys, which I think is a decent touch. Kit is themed like a typical thief in like an RPG game. He's got a hood on his head. He's also got a scarf around his neck that's got like two flares going off the back. And then there's also a lot of leather in this skin if you look at his boots, belt, and gloves. Color scheme wise, I think this skin looks great. Obviously, there's a lot of purple because Kit's biggest feature is his head and his hood is purple, so that's gonna be the majority of the color palette. But then there's a lot of gold accents both on the hood and the gloves and boots and belt. That's really nice. And then I really like the way the brown matches with that gold down around the midsection. I think overall this color scheme works really well together even though it is a bit purple and edgy and that's been a major complaint in the community for a little bit now. All right, focusing a little bit more on the features of the skin now. First thing I want to point out is Kit's ears. I really like what they did with Kit's ears. First off, the one ear is missing a chunk out of it. I think that's a very interesting touch, and it really sells home that street cat thief looking vibe. And then on the other ear, they gave him a key for an earring. That really hammers home the lock and key theme of this skin. For Kit's face, he's wearing a dark mask, and he's got blue eyes in this. I really like the fact that he's wearing a mask. Obviously, he's a thief, so he wants to hide his identity, so that makes sense. And then the blue eyes just match really well with the purple hood moving on to kid's body he is not going to be wearing a shirt he's a cat so that's kind of whatever he's an animal you don't need to wear a shirt if you're an animal i guess as i pointed out earlier he's got brown leather gloves and boots i really like the way the leather looks here and then they added a lot of gold accents obviously his weapons are going to be those keys on his wrist and then the boots have gold accents as well all that is a very nice touch as you guys should know by now i am a sucker for gold accents especially on any of these skins and the fact that it matches so well with the brown i'm a big fan of it and then like I pointed out earlier, the belt is actually brown leather as well. I like that the belt buckle is actually a lock. Again, hammering home that lock and key theme that this skin is actually going for. So overall, I really love the way this skin is designed. I think they really nailed the thief look from like a typical RPG. And then on top of that, they also really hammered home that lock and key theme that they were trying to push on this. I think they did a pretty decent job with that. I mentioned earlier, but I think the color scheme is absolutely amazing. I really like the gold and purple that they were going for. I think that's really nice overall. And then the brown accents on the gloves and boots and belt i think those add to the gold quite a bit especially in that body where there is no purple and then like i said there's a lot of small details that add some flair to the skin for example the chunk missing out of his ear the fact that he has keys for weapons and the fact that his belt buckle is a lock all of those are really nice touches in my opinion so overall i think this design gets a big w all right moving on to win and loss animations for Kit's winning animation, he's gonna stand with his back to the screen. He's gonna turn and have a glow in his eye. Then he turns and runs towards the screen. And then he jumps and does a little swipe attack as if he's trying to rob you. And then he just stands there smugly. And for the losing animation, yeah, it's just a one frame hard cut into Kit sitting on the ground biting his keys. So as usual, the winning animation has a lot of work put into it. I think it's pretty good and it's got some decent characters to it, but the losing animation lacks a lot. It's just a one frame hard cut into the brawler sitting on the ground, which I've talked about many times. We're not gonna complain about it here. You know what I mean. All right, so now let's move on to the actual effects of the skin. Now we're gonna start with sound effects. There are no sound effect changes or voice line changes. Pretty typical for an epic skin, but currently there is a bug with the carry mode of Kit. So when you use your super and jump on your teammates, currently the sound of the attacks are not making any noises at all, which is a little disorienting if you play with sound, but it will probably get patched eventually. All right, for Kit's main attack, he's gonna swipe in front of him, but instead of it being claws, it's gonna be a big key that swipes in front of him. And if your attack lands, a lock and a bunch of parts are gonna go flying off of the enemy. All right, for Kit's super, there's actually two different variations of it. So we're gonna talk about offensively first. So when you jump on an enemy, so Kit's gonna land on an enemy and it's gonna kick up a bunch of dirt as usual, but instead of it being cartoon effects that fly out of it, there's gonna be coins, locks, and keys that go flying off of the enemy in the fight. Then there is the effects when you jump on a teammate's back. Now, when Kit is being carried, he's gonna throw out blue chests. They're gonna bounce a little bit. When they explode, there's gonna be keys and coins that go flying everywhere. And as usual, Kit's gonna have some smoke coming out of the chest when it explodes, but it's gonna look a little bit more like the skin itself. And there's actually gonna be a lock on the ground that's left afterwards. For the effects of the skin, I think they did a pretty good job with it. For the main attack, they could have phoned it in and just made a claw swiping in front of him as they usually would, but they did a custom effect with the key swiping in front of him and they really hammered home that lock and key theme with this skin. And then they also added that little bit of flare of the lock parts flying off of the enemy, which I think is a really nice touch. Bombs you throw out while you're on a teammate's back have a lot of flare added to them as well. Those have keys and coins flying out when they explode. And like I said, the smoke has like a custom effect and it leaves that lock on the ground. All of that is really nice touches in my opinion. They put a decent amount of work into that 
And I would say the weakest part of the effects are the animation when you actually jump on an enemy, but what are you going to do? They kind of kept it on theme with Kit, but they did add a little bit of flair with the stuff flying out, you know, the coins and the keys and all that. So that was far from phoned in by any means, in my opinion. All right, so now is when we actually talk about whether this skin is actually worth 5,000 bling or 149 gems. Should you pick this skin up? What do I actually think about this skin? So overall, I really like the design of this skin. I think they really nailed that RPG thief look that they were really going for here. And like I said many times, I think the color palette is probably one of the better ones in the game. It's got that purple and gold look with the brown accents. All of that added together makes the skin look really good. It's a nice looking thief with a good color palette. So I really like that. Plus, the skin is covered in the locks and the keys that they were really going for with that lockpick theme, so I really like that as well. I think they added a decent amount of that to really hammer home that like secondary theme there. And then there's the animations, and that's obviously going to be the weakest part of the skin because I feel like that has the least amount of effort put in. As usual, that's not like a this skin problem. That's a in general thing. There's a lot of skins that have a lot of animations that are phoned in, specifically the losing animations. So for the winning animation, I think they did a halfway decent job with it. It's not like the best winning animation in the world, but it does enough for the skin. And the losing animation, like I said, is a one frame hard cut. I'm never going to praise a skin for that, but most people just skip the animations anyway. It's the least important part of the skin. I just like to talk about it in these videos. And then the effects of the skin are either good or great. Now, I think the weakest one is probably when you jump on an enemy with your super. That one is probably the weakest one. It's very close to the base skin effects, but they did add a little bit of flair to it with the keys, coins, and all that flying out of it. So I think it's not the worst thing, but it is not like the best either. Then your super when you're being supported, that has a decent amount of work put into it. They customize not only the bomb, but also the stuff that flies out of the bomb. And they even added the effect of like the smoke having like looking more like the skin itself and the lock being on the ground. So I think there's a decent amount of work put into that super. And then my favorite is the main attack animation. I think that looks amazing. I really like the giant key swiping in front of him. And I like how they even added the little bit of flair of like locks and parts flying off of enemies when you land attacks on them. So I think that is like the best effect on the entire skin. And I think right now the only big issue with the effects is like I said, that bug with the sound when you're being carried and throwing out the bombs. They make no sound right now, which can be a bit of a problem. If you're used to playing with sound, it can be a bit disorienting, like I said, but it will get patched eventually. I believe we had an issue with this. I think it was Toon Spike. The super didn't make any sound and I think that eventually got patched. So as of right now, it is just a little disorienting, but it will get patched eventually, I'm pretty sure. So I really like this skin. I do think it's definitely worth the 5,000 bling or 149 gems. Plus right now, Kit doesn't have a ton of skins available. He really only has the Billy the Kit skin, which is okay if you just want, you know, a very basic skin. That's a uh, rare skin, so it's not really hard to get. If you're okay with that, you could stick with that. And the other skin that uh, Kit actually has is the Kit Boxer skins, and those are Brawl Pass exclusive ones. They will be coming back in January, but personally, I'm not the biggest fan of those skins either. I think they're kind of weird, if I'm totally honest. So this is probably going to be this skin that I run on Kit all the time, and I think it's a very good skin, and I definitely think it's worth picking up. But but you guys have seen everything about this skin. You guys can make your own opinions and let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you like this skin down in the comments. Let me know if you're going to pick it up when it's available for bling, if you picked it up for gems, any of that stuff. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.